This cow is lame, and this is the Hoof GP YouTube channel. Let's get her in the crush and see what is wrong with that back left foot. So part of the reason I knew she was lame is because this heel is so high. So it's most likely that there's a problem in this half of our heel. This is clearly undersized when you compare it to this side. And there's a big height difference if we look from here. After trimming cows day in, day out for years on end, it becomes second nature. Completely instinctful that you know where a cow is lame and most likely why she is lame. Sometimes it can actually be really difficult to convey and explain to other people how and why you know that she's lame. You just know she is. There's a skill or a language that you can learn if you like called cow signals and it can be massively helpful in determining what's wrong with a cow and how she's actually feeling. Many foot trimmers and farmers around the world use this skill or this secret language every day without even realising they're using it. Oh, we can definitely see the problem, although you maybe can't see it from that angle. She has an ulcer sticking out of her foot right there. Now that is going to be very painful. This is what's known as a pedunculated ulcer. Basically an ulcer that is attached by a stem or a root connecting it to the corium underneath. And it's incredibly painful because it's sticking so far out of the cow's body. I'm trying to trim right round about this ulcer without touching it. Well, without cutting into it, sorry. Now we're gonna reduce the whole height of this heel because we are gonna fix a block on here. So there's no need for this to be so high and if that block ever fell off, we want a height difference and that will create it. If you want to blunt your knife really quickly, this is the perfect way to do it. Cut a cow's foot and hit a bit of metal on the way up every time. That's a joke by the way. So we're creating this height difference to get the weight away from this foot, which will help with pain relief, but it'll also help the ground insulting or hurting or grating on that ulcer, which will help it to heal. We need to bovi bond on a block, so I use a nozzle to keep the two digits separated so that I can work on one claw without touching the other. Then we just prepare that inside claw by making sure there's no dirt or debris or loose horn, scratch it up a little bit to give the glue something to bond to, then remove that nozzle, dry it all off, and bang, on we stick the block. We pour on 10% iodine solution and that will shrink up the pedunculated corium and allow the ulcer to heal over and form some new horn. And that, believe it or not folks, should be this cow fixed in one simple trim. <laughs> 